as you can see by the title, this whole video is just going to be around random school experiences I've had. I don't care which ones they are, I'm just going to see them. Um, so... Don't mind the background inbox footage. I haven't played it in a while, actually. Um. Sorry. Um. So, the random experiences are just... Again, random experiences. Sorry, this makes no sense. So, I've had quite a few different school experiences. So, um... I know I've had a lot of experiences, but, uh, God damn. sorry, I'm really carried away with this game for some reason. Okay, there we go. So, I have, okay, so let's just start it off. So there was this one time I was at school, you know, just learning in class. And the bell rang. I didn't have a watch or anything, but just the bell rang. And I'm like, oh, yay, nice. That felt a bit earlier than usual, but, you know, let's go. Sweet. And um, it kept going, and I'm like, well, this is strange. My heartbeat's just gone, like, through the roof. Um, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? This is not normal. So, the teacher goes, I think it's a fire drill. So, like, we were outside of the actual main classroom. So, we, we, we weren't that far away. Maybe, like, five meters, ten meters away from the entrance of the classroom. So, basically, we go into the classroom and every all the students, all the other students inside of the actual classroom, they're all freaking out. They're all in two lines at the front door. And I'm just like, whoa, what's going on here? So, <clears throat> they, they get us to, you know, line up at the door. And... You know, just go down to a little assembly spot. That little assembly spot is basically where we have all our drills if we need to, you know, get out of there. And um, my heartbeat's still gone through the roof. It was just a fire drill. Um, nothing strange about that. But the thing that was strange is even afterward, my heart was still going like so fast. I don't know how fast it was going exactly, but I know it was going probably, I, I can't really make one what it is, but I'd say um, maybe a hundred, maybe a hundred beats per minute. I don't know. This is very rough. Not like I had a medical thing just on me at that time. And, yeah, so my heart beats still like crazy. Um, and since then I've had about 10 fire drills. So that fire drill was the first one I've experienced, like ever. And I was only in grade 3 then. 
so it was pretty pretty early on and by pretty early on I mean very very early on and um, yeah so that's that experience Another experience is the lockdown experience. Um, again, another drill, all of these are drills. Um, and Sorry, <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so, I was in history class, oh yeah, this uh, one, it was literally this term, I think, of school, um, so I was in history, history and geography, you know, my favourite wants to do and I'm like yay history uh fun and all of a sudden this weird jazz music starts playing I I'm pretty sure the teacher said afterward that it was saying um lock like it had the jazz music but it, apparently the words it was saying were lockdown lockdown just repeated that um it was only for primary um, so yeah, pretty much just primary, well yeah, uh, the infants got their lockdown, but they enjoyed it, I, I get very emotional very easily. Um, as you can see in the background here, of the rage I just had. Um, I nearly actually left here. But didn't. Um. So, yeah, sorry, enough of the gameplay. Um, so yeah, the lockdown, um, it was pretty full on for a drill, because they got, like, us to close the light, well, turn the light off, um, they told us to full, get under the table, stay away from the windows, you know, that sort of thing, um, for a fake and <laughs> first time, <laughs> I reckon it was a little bit full on. A little bit, it was very. Um. But yeah, that was another experience. Uh, first time. My first time coming to school. That that's another experience, and that is the experience I shall be talking about now. So. Uh, the first time I came, I was in this uh, program. And I had this cool little yellow shirt on. It, it, I think it still fits me today. And I got that shirt in Kinder. Yeah. It's actually insane. <laughs> um. So, yeah. Um, I, there's a friend, there's a, f there's a few friends I meet, um, it was, I'd say it was scary, a bit scary for me, you know, going to big school, <laughs> sorry, this is first time going to primary school, I prefer big school because I was a little kid, you know what I mean, um,
And yeah, it's a good experience and everything. So we get to meet some new friends. Um I remember two friends from the very beginning, both on the same day, the first day. Um, one of them, well, I can't mention their names or, you know, give them a, um, give you guys a photo of them. But one of them was, uh, Coco Crazy. You know Coco Crazy? You should. I've mentioned him in a few videos. We've done a few collabs. And, yeah, it's just best, best thing ever. Um, another one is, uh, Smelly Rat King. He, I don't want to say this because he might be watching this. Smelly Rat King, you know who you are. Um, I'm sorry, but, I'm sorry to say this, but your videos are just really cringe. And, unless you change that, I don't, I doubt I'll be able to do any collabs. And you see all these people I'm wrecking here in the background? This is what I would do, um, if you weren't my friend, but you were posting these cringe videos. You're very lucky. Um... So, yeah, not much else to put into this video. Any more experiences I can think of? Nah, I can't really think of that many more. Actually, I can't think of any more. Um, let's see. Uh, there was a time when I met Maximum Katachu. Again, I've mentioned him a lot. And... I don't think I've ever uh, talked about when I met him. I don't actually remember when I met him, to be honest. It's just, um, I don't know, I just sort of remember it, but like, I don't know, we were just friends. More updates will be coming to you guys soon, more videos especially. Um, I can't really think of much else to put in. To this, uh, I think I'll just end the video either right now or pretty soon. I would just like to say, please, uh, help get us to 50 subs. Um, oh, look, you're promoting your channel like every other YouTuber. Yeah, this it's different, okay? I nearly have 50 subscribers. This is a huge goal, and I would like a really appreciate it if we could get this goal before um the lucatron channel one year anniversary on the 3rd of december 2023 that's when the that's when it's happening okay so that that will be when the uh, lucatron Slash gaming with Lucas anniversary will be pretty cool, I guess. Um, yeah, I think I'll just end the video here. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you for making it to the end. If you didn't skip through, if you did skip through, I don't really care as long as you watched it. But to be honest, thank you for all the support you guys have given me over the past, what is it, 11 months now? Um, 
I don't know if I'll actually be successful on YouTube. Um, and I definitely won't make money because I, um, unfortunately in the making of the Lucatron account, I never actually, unfortunately I never put in credit card details. So, um, I'm pretty sure there's like s three cents just lying there right now. Um... Yeah, it's um, pretty sad, and most and apparently you're supposed to have a thousand subscribers in the first six months to be successful. So, um, I don't really care though. It's the joy of making videos for you guys to hopefully enjoy. And if you don't, well, then I'm a disappointment to everybody. So, thank you for the support you guys have given me. Share this video to your friends. Don't have to. Do whatever you want with this video. Watch it a few more times. I don't really care. As always, thank you for watching. Peace.